today we will be looking at kick is poisoning <gasps> society my upper echelon and see what is it that kick is exactly doing and did we all see this coming or not who knows did anyone not see this coming uh perhaps 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 you never know i mean sometimes people can't see something coming until it's hit some smack in the face like bam ah it hit me you know this is an imaginary opening theme song theme song oh let's just react shall we and see what's up what did kick do all right kick an online live streaming platform funded by a crypto casino is poisoning society in a very clearly indefensible way. Yeah, which if anyone doesn't know, Kick uh, is very similar to Twitch, both in interface wise and uh, being also a live streaming platform as well. And people were also saying that maybe Kick will overtake Twitch and then everyone will just flock over to Kick. But then, you know, with the people that actually started kicking all that. Some people were very um, cautious, we'll say. So what is Kick? To put it simply, Kick is a live streaming platform created by the owners of Stake.com to compete with Twitch. Not mm -hmm. everyone will know what those companies are, which is fine, but the gist of it is that Stake is a crypto casino. Twitch is the largest live streaming platform currently online right now, owned by Amazon, and Kick is a rapidly growing competitor that is heavily used as a gambling advertisement pipeline. Let's do yeah. the whole corporate tree coming. of life no thing here did. and get that <laughs> out of the way initially. Yeah. Kick, the platform, is owned by a company called Kick Streaming Proprietary Limited, KSPL. KSPL Ooh. is owned by an Australian company called EasyGo Entertainment, and EasyGo mm -hmm. Entertainment is two-thirds owned by a man named Bijan Tehrani. The other third is owned by yet another company called Ashwood Holdings Proprietary Limited. Of course. Ashwood Holdings is controlled by a man named Edward Craven. This means, in no uncertain terms, that Bijan Tehrani and Edward Craven are the co-founding owners of Kick, as well okay. as Stake.com, which is why this live streaming quote unquote website deliberately brands itself as a gaming platform while inversely. Yeah, it's. <laughs> Also because, like, yeah, Stake is basically the gambling side, and then Kick it allows you to do that, whereas Twitch uh, is known to shut those stuff down because they don't want it on their platform. So that's why a lot of people that were interested in uh, that kind of content went to Kick. Uh, and also, Kick did a lot of deals with um, the big streamers, right? Like, what what kind what deal was it? There was like a huge deal, right? With XQC, it costs a, a lot of money and stuff like that. Yeah. ...operating as a direct and fully unregulated pipeline for the purpose of gambling promotion. Not mm -hmm. a great start. Well, huh. those connections have already been known about or recognized openly for quite some time. But what isn't as well discussed is just how bad the platform is getting in terms of general content direction and how pervasive those effects can become on modern youth. Here's the part where I need to give you all a mm -hmm. very big disclaimer. I'm not going to show everything that I talk about next. I'll show some news articles, some clips mm. here and there, but a good Fair chunk enough. of it, I'm just going to simply say what's going on because I don't want to rebroadcast it. Kick has become very heavily advertised as a platform that avoids unjust moderation. That sounds mm -hmm. really good in theory because Twitch has horribly dropped the ball when it comes to objectivity versus creator favoritism. But in practice... I mean, this can be very frustrating with uh, who they choose to also like ban and not ban and also how long they do ban someone for whatever reason right like a lot of times right they ban the girls that like took things a bit too far and you know did stuff like how they had the green screen on their body and stuff like that but they only like ever said anything after a few days that that happens and all that yeah neither side do good yeah but you know like Twitch is supposed to be a little bit more, uh, what you call it, cleaner than the cake in some ways of what they do uh, and don't allow on their platform. But it's also, you know, a little bit, eh, no, 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 sometimes. Also, I don't know why Twitch is so against VTubers and most of the time when something bad happens to them. <laughs> but they're fine if you do the, um, what what was it? VR chat. Yeah, they're fine with VR chat going absolutely bananas, but they're very upset if a VTuber's model shows a bit of underboob. That's like, no, 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 no. VR chat can go crazy, but VTubers, no. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. It's always something and something, though. Yes. Is quickly turned kick from a video game centered experience, which is really just a pipeline to get more people gambling, into mm -hmm. a cesspit of illegal and unethical behavior for the sake of money and fame. The streamers oh, on this platform, fame. not all of them, mind you, but a significant portion, well beyond what any platform should ever be fostering, are doing things like directly grabbing food off of someone's plate at a restaurant as they walk by, and then threatening to beat her up when she gets upset over it. This was a literal child doing this who would later do things like grab a joint on the yeah. street from a random person and smoke it live on kick. Oh. Mm hmm <laughs> The things people will do, I tell you, just try to, like, get a little bit of notoriety and the fact that they are willing to do so much. It's like, sometimes I just shake my head at all this. I tell them, I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, do you really want to be known as that person that did, like, a thing that annoyed everyone else? But in most cases, they do, because, you know, that's what's, in one way or another, gets clicks. And so they're willing to do it to get some kind of money somehow. And he didn't get suspended for any of this. He only got suspended after a verbal altercation with another kick streamer in which they threatened each other with physical violence, sexual assault, and doxing. The mm -hmm. other streamer, the one threatening the child who was harassing him, yeah, he live streamed a vehicular hit and run in a rented yeah. supercar. Reckless driving, leaving the scene of a crime, and this is just content for streamers on Kick, perpetrated by some of the most popular high viewership broadcasters on the entire platform. Yeah, by the way, the ones that were doing this hit and run, okay, uh, I think this was the person that, you know, later on was kind of scared that they would get caught to them after this happened. They just, like, got out of the vehicle and stuff like that. Not to say that they weren't, um, you know, knowing what they were getting into and all that, or weren't guilty at all and stuff like that. And the person driving, they don't really care if they get in trouble or not. Like, you're literally recording yourself doing something against, like, uh, the law and stuff, but they don't really care because they don't really believe that there's going to be, like, a harsh punishment to make them scared. So it's all like, yeah, whatever, bro, type of mentality, which is very dangerous as well, yeah. The law system really needs to, you know, catch up to people actually recording themselves doing stuff legally and actually uh, catching them for it. Because a lot of the times, even if you have, like, all the proof, right, like, you show them literally, look, someone is doing this, I recorded it, they could just be like, okay, no, this might be fake footage, this might be this, this might be that. Like, if you are worried if it's fake or not, then you should also try to, like, get, like, a something that will help you uh tell if something is fake or not as well you know like how the guy recorded his wife putting like uh, something in his coffee and then the he went to the police and you know took it as evidence and then the police said uh we can't do anything because we don't we can't see exactly what she's putting into the coffee pot it could be nothing we don't know so then the guy had to like set up even more cameras just to catch it literally being like poured in you can see all the actions and stuff like that Sheesh. yeah stuff needs to catch up to stuff sometimes it one more? okay one broadcaster's camera person decided to just steal an uber driver's phone during the broadcast and throw it in the street and she has not yet been removed from the platform yeah another because streamer, why not kick streamer I showed mean... themselves stealing the tips out of a jar at a restaurant he has also not been removed one streamer blackmailed yeah. another streamer, a 19-year-old with autism, threatening to leave him in a foreign city if he didn't perform certain moderation actions and ban particular people from the chat room. He also perpetrated what I would consider to be animal abuse live on the platform, threatened to shoot other Jeez. streamers, and is also accused of having sex with a woman in front of her child, barely outside the frame of a separate broadcast. Another streamer directly yeah. convinced a homeless woman to jump in a lake. The homeless woman could not swim. And then laughed about it, running. Yeah, that girl was indeed something else because she was, she like uh, talked to the woman, convinced the woman, and then, you know, that she'll also jump in the water for sure, for sure, and all that. And then later on, they kept laughing, and then, the, and then uh, people were panicking, the other bystanders that were walking by. They were panicking for the woman, and then they were, were starting to sweat and said, like, oh, maybe we are gonna get in trouble perhaps some the 
that's sort of what the attitude was for them. ...away as a fire truck pulled up to go try and save her. After imitating herself shoving the woman into the water, she says, quote, you should just jump in right now. And then 10 seconds later, I didn't tell you to jump in, as if she didn't just live stream all of it to thousands of people. As if mm -hmm. that's not already horrifying, multiple They did save the woman, though. There was multiple. firefighters that went to go save her. ...around chatting with random girls on the internet, some of them under the age of 18, convincing these girls to get naked for them or flash them while sharing all of it on a live broadcast, and then further sharing it in private chat rooms for their friends in Discord. That is a distribution of underage content. It is highly illegal as well as disgusting. I should yeah. be clear, that's not just one particular instance, and I'm also not showing any of it. This was Yeah, that that sounds a little bit like also, um you know how in some shows they did show it, like uh Thirteen Reasons Why. I only watched like the first two seasons of the show. But the point was, you know, like they showed I, what was it? They showed pictures or videos about the girl, right? And then they just uh, blasted to everyone in school, and then she uh, felt devastated when that happened. So that's, like, way blown up more. It's like, imagine that you're that devastated when just all your school buddies know, right? Now this is the, like, entire people that watch that and, and then also will recirculate that and all that. That's a higher scale than anyone can actually contain. Like, that is... Sheesh, man, sheesh. Levels. pattern of content for multiple streamers who did this for many many months some of them actually verified on kick during that time frame and they only got suspended mm -hmm. after massive amounts of backlash yeah although to be fair enough, apparently no one likes this dude but like eh, it's just, it doesn't matter if they do like him or not i mean the point is they have a platform and all that right it's the same with the guy you know the uh, certain one that i'm not going to say his name but, you know, the one that was causing up a ruckus in Japan, and then he went to other countries where he can go and cause up other ruckuses and all that, right? You know that one? Mm-hmm. He also still had a platform, so... Which had itself only happened because other creators called them out. No, that's not enough? Okay. Two famous broadcasters, for whatever twisted reason, hired an escort live and secretly filmed her, tried to film her, rather, because it didn't get far enough for them to actually go through the whole broadcast, tried to film her secretly with their friend in a different room when she yeah 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 they were and then the reaction to that happening was they were keep saying i'm an american i'm an american <laughs> like a broken record player to try to like i don't know get out of something or like try to make them not treat him roughly well, who knows why he was keep saying that ah. she tried to leave someone blocked the door and during this broadcast, Sheesh. CEO of the platform, Ed Craven, was yeah, in see. the chat room posting laughter emojis. The CEO was posting laughing emojis. Yeah, see, like, uh, it even writes here, right? It's, he blocks her way. I gave you 500. And then the woman responds, this is creepy. And then he's all like, why is it creepy? It's you and me and no one else. Uh, even though you're recording this to a lot of people. What do you mean? It's just you. <laughs> Me and all that, uh huh? Sheesh. But no, see, that's another thing, right? Like, never go into a place where people can enclose you in a place itself and you can't leave, right? You, you gotta, you know. I mean, I know why she, she would agree to go there first, but if, if someone is saying no to you or creeped out or anything like that, you just need to, like, let them be and all that, you know, just because you give them money doesn't justify what you can do to them or can't do to them and all that, you know? Yeah, I didn't want to say his name though, Andre, but you get the point. In a chat room where two of his mm -hmm. larger platform broadcasters yeah. were secretly attempting to film a prostitute that they hired. Just let that sink in for a minute. As you do that, let me show something else in the background. This is Kick, the homepage. I am not currently logged into the platform under any account. Yeah, if you go to a broadcast in the slots and casino category, which is a mature 18 plus area of content, I get this right here, a warning. You must be 18 plus to watch this content. Cool. However, I can just click start watching. That's it. There is no actual comprehensive Ooh. age verification on this platform, which is corroborated by a now ex-employee who recently came forward with her experience work. I mean, you know, who, who could ever think to bypass such a you know, secure 
thing though, right? Like simply just clicking on uh yes I'm over eighteen. I mean so many people would not do that. Come on. Come on. You you guys know this, right? Right? Like who would imagine just <laughs> clicking accept <laughs> instead of cancel? Oh no. For example, I chose speed was in Venice, Italy, he was on a boat in a canal, but from the boat he climbed onto one of the various bridges he even put them. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, a lot of people do a lot of stuff and then they don't really get much in trouble or something, so that just fosters some other people to also think that they'll be fine and stuff. And also, most of the time, I feel like when they're doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing, right, they're all like, okay, but it's like, I'm, you know, like, I'm streaming this, I'm recording this, so therefore it's not actually happening to me, like, sure... Like, I'm in it, but it's not actually happening to me kind of mindset. I don't know where that mindset comes from. But, I mean, if something is happening to you while you're recording it, it is actually happening to you, you know? Just because you are uh, doing something for the sake of recording or streaming doesn't mean that you're immune to your own actions, you know? Actions always have consequences and all that, but it seems like people... Uh, just have cut off that part of the thing entirely. Like, they do not believe, you know, actions equals consequences. They just believe that actions equal possible money or possible people, you know, clicking on so they can maybe get money and stuff like that. Working there, and the stuff that she shared is horrifying. Here's an example. She alleges that Kick offered a well-known streamer named Kaidi a worse offer because she got diagnosed with cancer and that huh? they thought they could get away with that because she would probably die soon and may want to leave more money for her family. That is evil. And some of it gets difficult to prove Sheesh. without inside sources in the company. It's allegations from a former staff member. But something that isn't hard to prove is this. Kick has a sec- I mean, true. But let, let's see what it said. Let me see. Part of the discuss rumor on Kaidi moving to Kick was that a staff member allegedly said they could get her for a lower price due to her cancer diagnosis. Many have reacted to that, such as, uh, call it evil. I see. I mean, yeah, just because someone has a diagnosis doesn't mean that you can, uh, do whatever you want for it since all that, like, Sheesh, man, sheesh. You think because they have a diagnosis, they wouldn't undercut her, but no, because uh, she got it, they did undercut her. You know? That's another interesting thing. Sheesh. Staff member. But something that isn't hard to prove is this. Kick has a section of their TOS, their terms of service, that says, quote, mm -hmm. any use or access to the service by anyone under 13 or under 16 in europe is strictly prohibited and in violation of these terms end quote and yet their staff members are openly promoting broadcasters who are 11 years old their own ex-employee alleges that she was the reason this child was initially suspended because they don't allow technically as per their tos anyone under 13 to use their services and yet now that she's gone He's been mm -hmm. allowed back on the platform against their own terms and is even being directly promoted by staff at the company. It's wow, they're so nice, aren't they? Break your own TOS because I'm uh, That just makes me feel like, did no one actually read their own TOS? Like, did they just copy and paste it from somewhere and just put it there in case someone ever asked, but they didn't really uh, read it themselves or they don't really care for it themselves? Uh, who knows? Insane. Now is the part where I talk about some unrelated, but also very much deeply related statistics and round out the picture. Kick has been growing massively since it first debuted, becoming one of the top 200 websites in the entire United States with over 200 million monthly visits. 38% mm -hmm. of their entire audience is classified as 18 to 24, but there's no actual effective restriction and the platform deliberately allows children, deliberately allows children under the age of 13 to break their TOS with no regard. These mm -hmm. stats simply don't measure the number of kids watching this content, some of them learning to think that it's cool to harass random people or perpetrate crimes for fame. And that yeah. realization takes on whole new meaning when you realize the state of modern digital access. I'll stick with you. Yeah, also it's kind of funny that there's a known streamer that's not even in the age of 18 to 24, but does, the graph doesn't even show anyone younger than 18 here. Interesting, isn't that, that they don't even show the age 
you know the largest age group of visitors are 18 to 24 years old even though the, the you can literally prove that, that ain't true <laughs> The United States here for the moment where the issue is undoubtedly worse, but the problem itself is global. According to the National mm -hmm. Center for Education Statistics, over 95% of households containing children ages 3 to 18 have home internet, with over 90% of them enjoying internet access through a computer in particular, and that was in 2021. Keep in mind, the number is only ever rising. According yeah. Plus, you know, like... The number is also pretty rised a lot when before, you know, cell phones were only uh, people that like were working could have or like your parents had uh, kids might have gotten a cell phone like when they were around 16 or something, depending on what year they were born and stuff. And then the, you know, the parents would be willing to give them a cell phone, right? But even cell phones are like, if you don't have one, people look at you like, why don't you have one? Right? Because like. They're even more accessible now than they ever were when they first came out. It's the same with the internet. Like, the internet is way more accessible. And thanks to a lot of the phones now being smartphones, you know, if you have a smartphone, you most likely have access to the internet one way or another. So, you know, the rise of that just went up and up and up. According to data from Norton, while parents self-report that they are regularly educating their children on how to safely access online content, 66% of them, I mean, at least for the United States, these numbers fluctuate slightly on a global scale, trust their child to browse the internet unmonitored. This means that nearly all households containing 3 to 18 year olds have internet access, and two thirds of those households allow these children unmonitored access while. Okay, I mean, I don't think it's wrong of them to trust their kids and stuff, but there are also literally um stuff that say that uh you know like child proof your internet so they cannot access uh, certain keywords they can't see this kind of content and like are, are are you putting those up as well or is it just like you're letting your kid be on the internet you know without any kind of restrictions for any kind of thing that's a little bit you know hmm hmm you know Let's see, what did you say? A lot of companies and such have man, most of their content online, so you have to access one way or another. Yep. Should be monitored because kids are curious. Yeah, true. Plus, even if, let's say, you want to um, look for, what's, what you call it? You were trying to look for something, right? And then you just type in something, and then unexpected results also come out for that something, because other people just have... <laughs> Uh, made other stuff that you don't want to see like you know even like pikachu you know for instance even if you want to look that up you know you might see stuff because let's be honest there's probably a lot of stuff that people put out that others should not see if they don't want to but it might come up if you're not careful so yeah they're just tagged around because they want to be found mm -hmm. well platforms like kick are rising in popularity tremendously as they distribute gambling content criminal activity and overall degeneracy to an ever increasing audience under the banner of live streaming. Let's be very clear. I'm not arguing that people can't access criminal content or inappropriate material elsewhere online. I'm not arguing that this is the <laughs> actual worst place on the entire internet or a leading cause of society's problems. I mean, I'm it's arguing one of that them, children often look up the, to streamers and seek to emulate their behavior. For better or worse, Twitch streamers, kick streamers, and live broadcasters in general often amass a follower base of almost exclusively children who seek to emulate their behavior or emulate all behavior that they observe and then proceed to broadcast social activity mm -hmm. purely for the sake of profit, popularity, and fame that should never be emulated by anyone. This problem... Mm -hmm. Plus, you know that they're going to emulate it just because, like, if you're not an only child right if you're like a younger child and you have an older sibling right even though you try to all emulate your older sibling most of the time right like how you try to like uh wear their clothes you try to go to where they're going even if they tell you you can't come along you still a, a kick up a fit and then your parents might say okay just take take your sibling with you and all that and then you reluctantly take them but you really shouldn't have taken them anyways and you and you knew it uh but your parents somehow just d didn't really care one way or another, or they just assumed it would be fine because reasons, you know? Plus, it's a, all, it's a different kind of responsibility to have to take care of your younger sibling while also you just want to hang out with your friends, and, you know, you just don't always want to, like, uh, monitor someone or babysit someone as well. 
But even if you are an only child, right, then they get into the parents there, for instance, right? And even if they're not their only child, they will still get into the parents' instance, for instance, right? Uh, the parent stuff for instance right because they want to like try to dress up like them or they want to try to wear some stuff that they see that the parents are wearing and stuff like that so they will there will always be kind of, some kind of emulation you know it's going to happen that's why you try to keep them off of this before they can you know emulate too dangerous of things right because uh overall time you they need time to know what to do and what not to do or how to form their own opinion as to what to do and what not to do. So, you know, until they get to that stage, you need to actually make sure what they're consuming and what's happening and all that. But unfortunately, a lot of the times, you know, uh, like parents just shove tablets into their kids' faces. Uh, I, I mean, I get it. You know, it's not easy to take care of a kid, but also you became a parent, so you do have a responsibility for your own kids. Remember that. Um, appears to be pervasive to the very culture of kick itself as it continues to gain market share, catalyzed by a complete degradation of critical thinking and building itself higher and higher by quite literally poisoning society around it. I didn't even mm -hmm. say all the different stuff that goes on there. I didn't mention the streamers who are getting arrested and locked up in other countries abroad for disturbing the peace or causing problems. Yeah. I didn't talk yeah. about the boxing matches between men and OnlyFans models in backyards so that a girl in a bathing suit can get knocked out by a full-grown guy on a live stream for entertainment in a disgusting oh, yeah, that's display so entertaining. of cultural rot. And I don't exactly feel the need to keep giving examples here, because at a certain point, when you advertise yourself as a place where people can get away with doing things that would and Yeah, plus, isn't it usually more enjoyable when people, like, do a, like, a, a fight where it's two girls, you know, instead of one, one girl versus a guy? I don't know, man. <laughs> But that's not the point. Either way, like, why are you saying yes to this? You don't know how that punch is going to land. Like, even if you have boxing gloves, right? If if the person that you're fighting thinks it's funny to just use a lot of their strength while they're punching you, something might go very wrong. Like, your jaw might get dislocated. You might lose a lot more of your teeth. Brain damage happens very easily. Yes, as well as that. You know, like, boxing is a very dangerous sport as well, you know? I don't know, sometimes people really need to think again for the stuff that they are uh, doing and all that, you know, like, you never know what kind of action will lead to a lifelong injury, but you do not want to receive a lifelong injury, you know. ...should otherwise get them suspended on any reputable platform. You are embracing a reality where you are the problem. Your brand mm -hmm. is the problem. And the harm you cause is by far greater than any benefit you have ever or will ever provide to the world. In my view, all things considered, Kick has earned the label of societal poison, with its undisputed position as hmm. the worst I mainstream see. live broadcasting platform out there, where children and adults alike are perpetrating crimes, infecting the world around them with moral degradation. And mm -hmm. parents, honestly, sh shout out to all the parents that watch me because you, this is a good one to watch. I suggest you actually do go check what your kid is watching on that iPad and make sure it's not kick. Anyway, that's it. Yeah. If you want to support the channel, there are links down below. A special VPN deal for anyone who wants it. Locals and Patreon, monthly memberships, of course, and more. But I'll cut it there and stop rambling. As always, thank you all for watching. Mm -hmm. Question everything and have a nice night. Yes. Well, I think you have the video as well. Yeah, the, like I said, this is, was Upper Echelon, so we will also, I'll give you guys the link to the video. And then, of course, I'm going to post this on YouTube, so there will be a link to the video on YouTube as well. Yeah, if anyone wants to watch the video for themselves, here's the link. But I will also post it when I post this video to YouTube as well. But yeah, so the thing is, though, right, like... We all saw this coming one way or another, that stuff would get very uh, messy and all that. Because, like, literally, if you say, uh, no rules, just do whatever you want, people are going to go and do stuff, you know. even Because even within rules, people still do stuff that might get others in trouble or might not be good, but they still do it. But when there's rules, there's a less likely... Um, you know, like, percentage of people that might do it versus 
if you tell them there's no rules and then there will be more people that want to do something you know like there's a little bit more of a difference between that so the fact that they don't have any rules is of course very dangerous as well i mean i'm not gonna lie i was considering to maybe stream on kick as well just because that they were saying that you know no matter uh your size of your channel or anything like that they will give you like uh like sort of like a salary right and it just depends on how many hours you stream for that you would still get money even if like you, you didn't get that many subs or anything so that was like kind of a benefit for a kick but also i was kind of still wary uh just because uh, you know of who founded it how kick was made and was kind of like eh, i don't know because you know who was going to watch stuff on kick right but then that's why they made all those big deals with streamers to try to like uh get them to go there and they didn't restrict them to just their platform as well so like they they said yeah come to our platform and stream it to us as well and get your audience to come here but also we won't tell you no if you want to go stream or anywhere else so that was kind of like you know a reason why it was very tempting for other people to do it but I mean, to this day, I have an Omni account. I don't. I well, I don't. I'm not going to make one. Like I said, the only reason why I ever considered making one in the very beginning was because of the kind of like the salary kind of money. But it's not really worth it, really. And plus, I think it would be way too much troll or something like that on their platform. So I wouldn't bother it within myself. It was it around the time when Twitch told people they couldn't stream elsewhere? Um. Well, the thing is, right, like, right now, the streaming platforms that people use a lot, right, is uh, Twitch, and then people have gone to Kick. There's also YouTube streaming, but YouTube doesn't really care about the streaming, so some parts of the streaming experience are a little bit still iffy and stuff, but it's kind of hard to tell if someone is streaming or not streaming on YouTube, unless you see, unless you pay attention to, like, the red thing involved, and then there's also Rumble and stuff like that, right? But the thing is, like, Twitch even lifted up the, you know, you can't stream to other platforms thing, so people don't really care about that as well. But yeah, it was during that kind of time. But the thing is, right, they, they said that they wouldn't restrict you to just kick. So even if you, like, weren't able to stream to Twitch at the time, uh, you were still able to, like, uh, stream kick and YouTube, kick and rumble, whatever you wanted, or, like, all, do all those other threes. It's just, it was just everything but Twitch because, you know, they weren't wanting you there. But even now, that doesn't really matter anymore, so. It's like, whatever. But let's be clear as of this as well. It's not just kick streamers that are doing stuff, okay? There have been other streamers that do stuff. Like, someone, what was it, the girl that, was, that streamed on YouTube, I think, or either Twitch. I'm not sure right now, but it was one of the other sites that she was streaming uh that you know she was delivering stuff and then she let her dog just uh, do stuff all over someone else's groceries and then she like sort of cleaned it off like uh, 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 and then never told the person who she gave the groceries to like that was not a kick streamer as far as i know that was a youtube streamer or something like that i think like it's not just that every Buddy, that's toxic is on kick but kick has way more of that because that's the kind of environment that they have fostered versus the other uh, streaming platforms you know point is you got to be wary you know i mean you, you could think kick equals money because they're green but also quick uh, kick could also equal toxicity because you know toxic stuff is also green most of the time so you know, it's up to you. You make your own judgment call on uh, that. But yeah. That was a interesting video, though. I, I saw most of the points and all that. But yeah. Thank you very much for watching me react to that, guys. <laughs>